Hi guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll lay out the app UI using the storyboard. First, let's create a new project by hitting Command M. Then, choose Single View Application, because we'll build the app from a blank template. Hit Next, and then you name the project here, so we're going to call it uh, GoChat. Then type your name below. We'll use Swift language and build the app for iPhone devices, and then leave the rest unchecked. Now, hit Next and create the project. All right. Cool. Here's the project. On the project navigator, there are some default files that come with this template. Let's delete this thing in the storyboard in the view controller Swift, fi Swift file that comes with it. Okay, let's choose the main storyboard and start building the UI. First, let's look at the design to see what we're building. Our chat app has only two views, a login view and a chat view. We'll lay out the UI by creating a UI view controller for each view in the storyboard and create some placeholder source code for them. All right, drag a view controller from the object library to the storyboard for login and another one for the chat view. Now hit command N, choose source in iOS, then Coco touch class, name this class login view controller, and then we'll write the code for the login view in the storyboard in this new file. So choose the UI login view, then in its identity inspector, link it with the file we've just created in the class option. Now, go ahead and do the same thing for the chat view. Name the new file chat view controller, then create it. Again, in the storyboard, choose the chat view, then link it to the new file in its identity inspector. If you think we're going a bit fast, you can watch our lectures on the big picture of the model view controller in iOS programming. It helps you to intuitively understand the process of building iOS apps. Okay, now search for a UI button in the object library and drag two of them to the login view. They'll be the login buttons. The first one is login anonymously. And the other one is... Uh, Google login. All right. These buttons will log users in and switch views. We'll implement these features later on. But it's a good practice to create some placeholder code for them. We use IB action to link these buttons to the code. So open the login view controller Swift file in the assisted editor and control drag the first button to the file and choose action connection. Name the action login anonymously. All right did tapped, then connect. Similarly, control drag the Google login button to the code and choose action connection. Name it Google login did tapped. Okay, cool. Close the assistant editor because we don't need it anymore. All right, now let's obey good coding practice. Print, uh, say, login anonymously did tapped. Cool. All right. Similarly, print Google login did tapped. All right. Let's build the app and check it out. We're going to build it on iPhone 6. All right. It's building. Mm, there's some warnings there, but, uh, but we'll fix it later. All right. It's done. Uh, okay. Here's the simulator. Hmm. It's not working. It said here we need to set an initial view. It's, it's the one that will show up when the app launches. We'll choose the show, the login view, when users open the app. So, choose the login view controller in the storyboard and check is initial view controller option in its attribute inspector. Okay, our app work, should work fine now. Great. The buttons are a bit off now, we'll fix that later with auto layout. Clicking on them will print to the console the text we set in the login view controller file. Alright, cool. It's a good start and we'll design the views in the next few lectures. In the next lecture, we'll design the login view. We'll show you how to customize UI buttons and use auto layout to make it make the view in good shape. Alright. Oh, wait, by the way, we want these buttons to authenticate users and then switch view. To switch the views, we can connect them using SegU in the storyboard. But for smooth transitions, we'll do that in the code later. All right. 
See you then.